Hello, my name is Grant and I'm trying to live forever. We're going to do another edition of the Saturday sit down and I'm going to answer some questions off this phone. Here I go. Hello, buddy. things I've seen here yet. Uh, I'm two years post-op from the gastric sleeve. Uh, I am working a 60, 70 hour a week job and I'm not making any excuses but uh, because of my choices uh, I put on a couple pounds back on. Uh, what can I do to get back on track? Okay, that's an easy one. That's meal prepping. That's getting back in your regiment. Uh, Take a couple hours of time out on your day off and prep your meals for the whole week. Um, on average, for my meal prep days, I'm dealing with four different foods, at least four different foods for the week. It might be uh, pasta and beef, and then a tuna salad, and then a chicken and potatoes, and then maybe a lasagna, or a chili, or pork, and rice or it can be a, a whole number of different things but I try to keep four different options available also because we always have leftovers from the Saturday um, dinner there's always some kind of lunches left over out of that too uh, so there's it isn't like I'm, we're eating chicken and rice five times a day seven days a week that ain't what it is it's different foods good tasting foods but in weighed and measured amounts. And it's not the drive-through. The drive-through will put it back on like that. The drive-through is the worst thing you can do. The drive-through lifestyle will ruin what you just did for the surgery. Bottom line, it will ruin what you did for the surgery. So go back to meal prepping. If you get off, go back on. That's what I did. I got off. I got off my meal prepping. I got off my lifestyle. I went back on to, I was eating out for lunch every day. I was eating junk food every day. And I put 130 pounds back on. I've taken it back off, but, and I did it by meal prepping. That's all I did. That's the only thing I changed was I quit eating out and I started meal prepping. And I, in three years, I've lost 130 pounds back off again. Okay, so meal prepping, get out of the drive through I know it's easy and I know it tastes good. And it's, but th there's a reason for that. It tastes good for a reason because it brings you back again and again and again and again. You can have just as satisfying a lifestyle by uh, microwaving your food for lunch after you've made it yourself. You know what's in it. You know what it tastes like. You know it tastes good. And I am not against a little extra butter here and a little extra salt there. Salt, I mean, or some barbecue sauce on something. It's 10 times better than the shit you're going to get at McDonald's. 10 times better. You can't tell me that a tablespoon or two of barbecue sauce is going to blow your diet and, and put weight on you like going through McDonald's will. Just not going to happen. Okay just not going to happen meal prep drive through lifestyle is going to kill you a friend was telling me to do a bypass instead of a sleeve due to losing more weight i have 60 pounds i would like to lose how much has he lost with the sleeve Sixty pounds 60 pounds. You need to get on a treadmill and you need a meal prep. 60 pounds. You're going to spend the money and go through a surgery to try to lose 60 pounds. Give me a break. Give me a break. Okay. Give me a break. 
get on get on a, a meal prep plan get on a regimen not a diet diets go for a certain period of time you lose the weight you get off the diet you gain the weight back get on a regimen change your habits and you won't need the surgery oh my god oh my lord my surgery is thursday i was wondering after post-op recovery during period would something like this cause dumping it's a picture of an ice cream bar with the uh, nutritional facts on it it's a full flavored full ice cream bar she wants to know if she can have fucking ice cream after her surgery are you kidding me see this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about this is the stuff I'm talking about are you in this are you seriously in this how soon after I have my surgery can I have this and would this cause dumping she hadn't even had the surgery yet that she's asking if she can have ice cream Everybody needs to take this a little more seriously. I know there's, okay, I'm sorry. There's a lot of people out there that take this seriously. But this kind of bullshit just drives me insane. It drives me insane. Do you think having the surgery is going to fix your brain? No, for a short period of time, it's going to take some weight off you and make you where you can't eat like you want to. But if that's a, if that's the mentality you're going into this with, before you've even had the surgery, asking when you can have ice cream? Why are you even bother doing it? You're setting yourself up for failure from the beginning. From the beginning. I, I, I don't have the words. I don't have the words for this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Please, please don't do these things. Please. I want you all to have success with this. This is not how you do it. It's not how you do it. <sighs> okay, I didn't mean to get worked up. Did anyone regret having the surgery? And basically, from what I can tell, it's all the regret is the shit they got from the other people in their lives. I really don't, I'm really not seeing a lot of um, where they regret losing the weight. It's people's attitudes about having the surgery. Um, you got to block it out. This is for you. If this is what you wanted, if this is what you truly want, then you guys, you gotta like block it out and turn the switch off. They will, and like I've said before, if they love you, if they truly love you, they'll love you no matter what you do. This is not one of those things where I cheated on you and I don't trust you anymore. This is not that kind of situation. This is you had a surgery to try to better your life and try to better your family's life and try to better your marriage and try to better your relationship, and try to better everything. You're having this to better yourself, to, to help yourself live longer, to live happier, to have a better life, to experience things that you wouldn't experience otherwise. And if they got a problem with that, then that's not your problem. That's their problem. That's their problem. You know, that's just all there is to it. Like it, share it, and subscribe to it. Because there's going to be a lot more of these. So, y'all have a great day. Because great day today can mean a better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.